ye kwa ku pimu asoya e risk asem so na wo so afa wo da no kenofo wi atawo den sima to dwase mo a ma adwene se e levi e won sensem na kwa koda ne nya na ye e san so mu sie sie no fofro no msa dia ku pimu o ma mu mrahye bedwa fie se ma mu mrahye bedwa fo o mu kwa setna se de tibia ne e levi be se ne ti ana se be man homene so ye kwa homene so ye sen twu ni kwadwo mensa abram pa kemi e wa homene so kwadwo e komi em e levi Dada na na eba na se we ye fufro ana se no ana omuku siesie ni sadia ba kwi tibe na ai minister se se e se za kwa kana wan yi tere kusini zin komo kakra na ai isu so aban ko baba gana fo ogotu ya da mi 1.75 no de no de do beti wo sanda sika na nkan kan no gotia wazuma e ye transaction bi a te kusu wote wo no ono wono akasha ma wo beti wo do ho nti se ti e ile bizu kwa anka impact na be feel in there Tell us no better was it now what one point seven five million Nudu Betum. Missaka uh information minister or high any commotion uh uh but I or daddy in an emoco bad in TV. Majoro, and you say I said uh he led you na uh minister and send me a king. Yes, no common and in accident. Ozin can no minister church over there. Ma nancy tem at it say the uh uh one cut our woman on name Bloomberg and get on work at there. Uh, Ugana Sika Semini, you know. Ah, but Chim there, my work at the Yenshene and Yenu, Yayan the Dado. A Kawa, Ghana, Kaoya Wam in Hen. Na you to know one among the Yetso Hen Kanodo, debt management, you know. After budget twenty twenty two, Numa, Yaya Wedima Wom. A Juma, if I don't know what a pair, I be moving ye. After budget twenty twenty two, Numa, unemployment, Yaya Wedima. And Sana Mpuntua everywhere will hear mantem mantum infrastructure development on a subject I a wedjuma. Na the kwa or de yet the kahum or we pay on any e levy na or the sika bay seven billion or pepe pay uh a son bear seven billion papano or no ne at the kwa waka or de ye. Don't know sabu tell church may the dem scan bay one ever for webu a conta na ma dem to no okan na ona wa ya chim de o san su chim de yenyi takus ni din kita ho mtn fo na nka ho din kita ho de ma na ho no wogye no wo reto do wo su ma ban ji dem sika na aban sa ba ka dem sika no nemu a wo etua no wo hun kwa ho nye him asam no tofa bonyen ndi kwa ka de wo be education on e level da ban yen hwe him de o ba sha so eh na wo twiri bo wie na na wo twofo fura yere be simi eh ye be pija hen nzim na ilevi na omaye ni sikasem no ho komodi no ya mo akonkan kumi da mi shami na a bodi tu gwa nti ami ya ma zaka no e gba bon tofa na ya abrampa abrampa asa be bon tofa na nice me te onu abo ase a eh sika na abai person wa ji ilevi ni de nya de aye sisa no ene de abai mbeji na mum calculus fo no e na omo de na omba gumu kakra se de be agana fo ho be hare en aha dam 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 no te kumi dam no te papa Mm. Abraham pa yenu wase yenu wase yenu wase na yentie oso afo no emra eh wokasa e won central fo nhyemu na sense mo de tujwa has amply demonstrated our commitment to responsible custodianship of resources and the sovereign rights of its citizens pre pandemic the fiscal deficit declined from 6.5% in 2016 to 4.8% by 2019 last year we set a target of 9.4% deficit. As at end November, we were virtually on target. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'll keep you two for the final batch. So you're the first two in the final batch. So let's start this time from here. There was the first hand here, was that first hand here? Yes, one, two. Both the rich and the poor are affected. And so um, what are, the question I hear from the public is, why is government not sharing the, um, uh, how do you call it, the percentages charged by the telcos on the mobile money transactions rather than charging everybody across the board. Come again with that question. Why is government not, not sharing? Yeah, sharing that 1% that the telcos, you know, charges when we do the mobile money transactions. Why is government not sharing that with the telcos rather than Charging oh, everybody. why is government not taking a share a of share, the yeah, telcos sure. revenue sure, sure. as a way of mobilizing? Sure. Rather, rather than, than um, you know, 
imposing a levy on a levy the originators of the transaction. Exactly. Very well. That is the question I hear from the public. Very well. Very well. Now, my second question is, what is your plan B in case the impasse we saw in Parliament last year remains? Thank you. Thank you very much. Minister. Thank you very much indeed, and, and thanks, thanks for this. Um, I think the, the first one is on the issue of the impact on, on confidence, and that's really uh, a very important um, question um, because we have seen um, what the international uh, capital market is reacting to. Um, some alignment in the way in which we approach things, uh, which is very Ghanaian and it's good for us to remember our sociology to come back to that. With regards to managing, I mean, debt ceilings, I mean, you know we have the, the Fiscal Responsibility Act about, you know, remaining like this money, use it appropriately, you know, without any opacity, but a lot more transparency. And that's what I'm expecting, and that's why um, in November, um, when I went to Parliament, I sought audience to be able to do that. And then we sort of all got derailed. Uh, but we are back. You know, they've had some rest. I've been around myself. And um, these issues, as I'm putting in front of you, will then be areas of contention. Um, there's no way you can have.